All right, everybody, welcome back. Today, I have a little bit of a story to tell you. So, I went into Hyrule. You have all seen the death. It is a quite tragic one. And then, I jumped into another run. And as you can see, I lost another gear set, my mining gear set. And I lost it because uh, my power was gone. But it wasn't just an outage. It was just turned off by my power company. And it turns out, I cannot believe that, but it turns out that they sent the bills to the wrong address for four years. Four years. I mean, I've been paying my, my power, right? But in Austria, I, you can have a power company that delivers you the power. And you have this official government company that kind of uh, keeps uh, the power... Uh, routes clear and stuff like that and they charge you a little bit for using the power grid and that company has a separate bill and that bill has been sent to the wrong address for over four years and then they suddenly realize oh uh, we turn this guy's power off <laughs> after four years <laughs> but you know what's funny is that when I moved into this apartment I know for a fact that we told them that I live here and that I want uh, the uh, the letters to come to this address and I've kept the email so I can prove it so yesterday uh, trying to record after losing everything I called them and I was like guys what's up and they're like yeah we turned the power off because this and that, and I was like, yeah, okay, uh, okay, be nice. And then I kind of told them that I can prove that I told them that they should send the letters to this address. So then they removed the extra fines and extra bills, and now I only have to pay what's, what's rightfully theirs. And I kind of agree with that anyways. But it's just a crazy situation, right? Just a little bit on top of that, they have sent over 10 government-issued letters. <laughs> over 10 over 10 over a hundred like it's insane how are people working nobody bothers to pick up their phone and call my number they have both my number and my email address if i would work like that i would have no job and i don't understand how other companies can let this behavior slide but anyways we have some rebuilding to do no time to complain. We're gonna jump into normal high, uh, normal goblin caves. And trying to rebuild a little bit. Uh, before we venture out with stuff. Uh, even though uh, jumping in with nothing is what people kind of want. I've seen a lot of geared people. Even in normal goblin caves. And I kind of understand why. Because the high roller goblin caves is not worth it. It really isn't. You pay 50 gold, and yeah, sometimes you pull out 300 in jewelry, but there are statistics on high roller, right? And every high roller run eliminates approximately, in statistical value, 700 gold from the game. So that means whenever you join high roller, 700 gold just vanishes. Because maybe you die, Maybe you don't make it out, maybe the last portal is bad, maybe the swarm kills you, maybe a player kills you. So it is not worth it. And for me personally, it's not about the gold, right? If you kind of play semi-effectively, you can build up 700 gold. And it doesn't really take that long. We have a cleric buffing up behind that door. So I'm just gonna let him buff up and walk the other way. Um, but what I, want, what, I, what I wanted to say is that... Um, I don't, for me personally as a content creator, it's not about the gold, right? It's more about uh, the way people play in um in high roller goblin caves is really 
uh, the most extreme red behavior. And I understand that. Uh, because why wouldn't you? If I would, you know, you have to kind of uh, play like the biggest goblin you can be. Because you're risking a lot. And why not just be a rogue that waits in the final corner and one-shots everybody? Right? Why not just do that? It works really well. And I understand that, you know? I'm not mad at these people. I think they should play that way. It proves to be effective. It proves to be effective and the people have a right to play however they want. Ah, uh, might be somebody invisible here. I've heard a potion. Oh, it's a ranger. Nice. Now, without sprint, fighting... Ra oh my god. Fighting rangers is not that easy. That guy is going to die just because of the... The map. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm trying to get some leftovers. Maybe he has left something for me. Kind of funny. That guy ran... I think he ran into both traps. Um, and then the beetle probably got him. Alright, we'll pick these up. Maybe these as well. Sometimes it's really hard to pick these up. Alright, that was just a silver coin. I'm gonna try and clear the mummy here. Because I want to get at the shrine. Also, mummies are kind of always worth killing. Either they drop bandages or some really nice gemstones. But how crazy is that? That a company sends... Uh, their bills to the wrong address. For... Over four years. How crazy is that? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Alright, how, how would we... Solve this? I think we just run through here. Without sprint, I really don't like doing it, but... What else can we do? We just dodge everything here. We could enter to the troll. That might be worth it because the people, uh, the mobs don't really charge you down here. Except of course for... Oh my god. Except of course for the champion. Now we are kind of fucked. So, I don't know why I did that, but our strategy now is to run all the way around. Um, at least we get the high ground. Or the higher position. Uh, I mean, strategi strategically, this was very dumb. Taking so much damage from the zone. It's really not worth it. Ooh. There is a warlock. Maybe he runs into me. <laughs> Thinking that he might have ran through the swarm. Now these basic invis potions are so short. That I don't think there's a chance he's gonna run into us. I mean, fair enough. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it either. 
Alright, so there is a warlock there. I hear somebody else in here. Ooh, okay. So I think it's... Alright, that's a cleric. We can open... Oh my god. No! Oh my god! <laughs> that guy one-shot me! <laughs> what? I mean, his gear, to be fair, isn't that strong. So, I don't know what happened there. I think I took the... The swinging axe. And then... The Achilles strike, because I was running, did a lot of damage, probably. And, of course, he is... Full, fully leveled. Yeah, I don't know. It's a combination of two. I was in a bad spot there anyways. A sandwich between two. But, yeah. I mean, I just wanted to give you guys a small uh, update on uh, what the fuck happened here. Um... Yeah, just a small... Man, I don't know what I was doing. I was just rambling. I needed somebody to tell how crazy that situation is. And luckily, I could just tell them, Yo, kind of... Can I have my uh, power back? <laughs> and they were like, Yeah, I mean, kind of sorry that we sent it to the wrong address, blah, 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 blah. So I kind of managed to, uh, to get my power back. And uh, yeah. So thank you guys for watching. We will see us in the next one. Uh, I will do some rebuilding and I hope you guys having a wonderful day.